Okay, if I look crazy, it's because I just came from the gym. So I'm not gonna apologize for that because I went to the gym. I was like, good for you, Jess. No, but um, I wasn't gonna film. I filmed videos actually earlier today and then I was out running errands and doing all kinds of stuff. And then when I went to the post office, I had some packages there in my PO box and I was so freaking excited. So I figured I would open them on camera. I know um, of, I know some people that send me the stuff and other ones I don't, so it's, it's just really nice. I'm excited. So we'll start with this. This actually I got a while ago and um, I wanted to share it with you guys because um, I kind of opened it and I was like, ooh, maybe I'll do it on camera. So I held on to it for quite a while, actually. So I'm going to see if there is like a, this is from Samantha. And I recognize your name. I don't know if you comment on a lot of my videos or not. And that's the thing. I've said this recently, too, but a lot of you guys that comment all the time, I feel like I know you. Like, I know your name and every time I see it, and it's so funny because sometimes you guys would be like, hey, it's um, it's so-and-so, um, and it'll, they'll like, I don't know, they'll act like I won't know who they are. I'm like, I know exactly who you are. And it's just so, you know, I don't know. So first of all, she sent me a picture of her little baby girl. So cute. But it sounds like she sells Tone 45 stuff. So she said she sent me um, like a body wrap, a facial wrap, some green chews, um, uh, a, green, <clears throat> a green drink mix, and then some like other like makeup goodies. So let's dig in. I've never heard of Tone 45. Have you guys... So it's got, it's the It Works Ultimate Body Applicator, and it looks like it supposedly like tones your skin. Okay, I mean, come on now, that'd be awesome. And then I'm assuming this is one of the wraps she was talking about, like maybe a facial wrap. Yeah, I think so. And then there's like a info about it. So then there's this lip and eye moisturizing cream gel, and it's I guess from the same brand or from It Works. And it says you put on the eye and lips in the morning or evening. Okay. I'm all, I'm all for moisturization, so that's awesome. And then, so now it looks like these are, oh, okay, I'll use the heck out of these. These are like the little green drink mixes she sent. And then there's these, I see the little chews. And I don't know if those are like meal replacements. I need to like take the time to read all this before I, you know, dig right in. But I don't want to take all that time right now with you guys. Okay, and then she also sent me, oh, some little lip glosses. It's kind of funny, I've been decluttering. Um, but I still like getting new stuff. It's not like I don't like getting it, you know, so it's really tricky for me But lip glosses are fun, and I actually don't have that many lip glosses like I it's funny I really don't I really don't which I mean I have more than I'm gonna need but compared to like what most people with like My hobby or job has I really don't so that is a nice addition. Thank you, Samantha That's awesome. I'm excited to try all those different things because I've just never tried anything like that Oh, this is from my friend Lyndall and Lily, her daughter, and I might need scissors to cut this open. I cut open a lot of these, so at least I wouldn't have to, but I might try to do it. Guys. But they live in Australia, and they've sent me something before, and it was just lovely, and they were like, one of my favorite things, let me go grab it, that I own is this little stuffed animal that is a wombat. <laughs> I'm probably gonna bring it to my classroom because of course why not and then if we talk about Australia I could be like oh this is from Australia I love little things like that and my little Minnie Mouse stuffed animal that I adore okay so so they have sent me stuff before this is an interesting box so let's see if there's like a little card or something in here of course there is <laughs> oh if you live in another country send me something send me a card or anything because I, it's so cool to me because eventually I want to just freaking travel everywhere. Who doesn't want to do that? Um, but it, to me, it just feels so cool to get something from somewhere I've never been. It does brighten my day. Lily, you are so sweet. So it says there's a key ring in here that has the Australian flag on it. It's for Tyler. Oh, I wish he was here while I was opening this. He is going to die and the rest is for me. He is going to die because he is more of a traveler than I am. Like, he's the one that really got me into this. And um, he's going to die that you thought to send him something. So that was so thoughtful. And that is that would mark the very first time anyone has sent something for him to me. He's going to freak out. <gasps> oh, these are cute. These are these little pencils that say Jess all over them. Oh, I'm going to use these. I'm going to use the heck out of these. That is so thoughtful. Oh, there's this charm that says Jessica. Gosh, these are so thoughtful. I wonder if I can, it is truly a charm. I might put it on that little charm bracelet that I have, or maybe I have like a necklace I think I could put it on too. I'll have to decide how I want to use that. That was so sweet. This is funny, actually. This is a dream catcher. 
And I love, let me see if I can find like where the top, there's the hanging part. I love dream catchers. And I used to have one as a kid. And I just love the idea of it. And I have Native American in me. And they really, well, I don't know if all Native Americans believe in dream catchers. But um, a lot of them, you know, believe in them or at least used to. And I just love the idea of it. So this is really, really cool. And I was actually looking at these recently when we were in Michigan. I don't know why they were there, but they were. Although there's a lot of Native American. It doesn't matter. Um, and I almost bought one and I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't because this is way cooler. And just so thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, this is the keychain for Tyler. He is going to love this. That's really cool. It says Australia Down Under. I don't know if you can, it'll show through with the glare. And then she also sent me, oh, these are cute. It's a keychain. I got to take this one out. It's a keychain, but it looks like there's like little koala bears and things like that. Oh my gosh. There's like a ton of little koala bears on there. How adorable is that? <laughs> I'm such a sucker for little like keychains and little doodads like that. So that, oh, thank you, Lily. Just, that was so sweet. Both of you ladies are just the best. Just the best. Okay. I'm like sweating now. I guess I could, what am I wearing? I'm wearing like my workout shirt under it. I might, I'm sweating. Okay, sorry, you guys can laugh at me. Look at this tan line. I was wearing sunblock too. It was like SPF 55, but I guess I didn't reapply it enough. Whatever. Okay, so let's see. This is from my friend Renee, who is one that she's been a subscriber of mine for a while and she always comments, so I always, I just know her. I feel like I know her. Um, and there's so many of you out there like that for me. So first things first, I cut it open ahead of time. And there are little like Disney stickers everywhere. The first thing I noticed when I picked it up was these two little Mickey heads she drew like on the top. I'm like, so freaking thoughtful. I have the best subscribers in the universe. And then, I, okay, so there's all this tissue paper, really pretty. I'm gonna save that tissue paper, I'm gonna reuse it. Does anyone else do that? Like literally at Christmas time, I'm the one going around and collecting bags and boxes and like saving them for next year. I'll be the first to admit it. And I don't care because those things are so expensive. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> Okay, first of all, she made this. Are you kidding? It's, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cherish this. It's a little Mickey, but it's the graduating, like Mickey, Minnie, whatever. It says, congratulations, you've worked so hard and deserve to enjoy your summer. Thank you. Also, did you guys just see me spit everywhere? Oh, well, it's my room. <laughs> this is so thoughtful, I adore that. And then, okay, another little card. Hmm. I will. She said she hopes I continue to make videos for a long time. I plan on making them for a long time. That's, Renee, that's so sweet. So, so sweet. Holy crap. Gosh, you guys are ridiculous. Look at this. Are you kidding me? And yet again, there's little Mickeys and Minis and Donalds. Trivia question. Does anyone know what my favorite character is. Disney character. Not like the princesses, because I love like mm, all of the princesses. I don't think I could pick a favorite one. But does anyone know what my favorite Disney character out of like the classic crew is? Down below if you think you know. I'm curious to see if anyone knows it. All right. So this is adorable. First things I'm seeing are tarts. Now I don't know Renee or if any of you guys know, I burn tarts like crazy and my sister got me hooked on them. So I always Macintosh, that's what I figured. So I love burning them. I have a couple tart warmers, um, especially in the fall, which of course is coming up. And actually today's weather feels like fall here and it is amazing, even though it totally shouldn't, but I'm not complaining. So awesome, awesome, awesome. I will use the heck out of that. So I don't even know where to begin. This is insane. All right. It's so pretty. I don't wanna like, okay, hold on. I'm digging in because this is cracking me up. <laughs> If you watch any of my videos, you will know. First of all, that was a very honest laugh. Now I'm embarrassed. My laugh is so bad, like it's so loud. Um, I always get Playtex Sports in like my influencer boxes or like every month I get one and I'm like, this is great, I never have to buy them. Clearly she's been watching because she wrote, just so you don't need to buy them this month. And that is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> Thank you, I don't need to buy them this month. This is fantastic. That is hilarious. And in the weirdest way, very thoughtful. Okay, I thought this may be your style. Got a little Daisy Duck on it. My best friend Emily's favorite uh, character is Daisy Duck. And I remember when she told me that, I was like, oh, Daisy Duck, really? But, oh, it's a little watch. That is so cute. It's very dainty, which totally is my style. Totally, I'm like so boring with my style, but. Pff. Okay, 
So this one says, I know you like this powder, so you might like this blush too. I'm trying to see if I can guess which it is. Huh. Don't break it, this. <gasps> no, but it broke! Oh, she's gonna be sad! Oh, that's not, okay, it's the Rimmel Mash Perfection. Man! Oh, <laughs> don't you hate the mail? It looks like a really pretty color, too. I didn't even know they made these, though. So now, I mean, luckily this isn't too, I mean, I might, I almost wonder if I can go to the store and be like, hey, this broke, can I get it? I don't know, they probably wouldn't do that. That was so thoughtful, though, because you know I love the Rimmel, whatcha doodle, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dang it. All right. So this one says, something I had and never used, maybe you'll like it as much as your others. Mm. Ooh, it's more, it's a Mary Kay product. Subtle tanning lotion. You know I'm gonna like it. I, first of all, I use natural glow like crazy, although right now that I've got, I'm like burnt-ish. I don't even like need any more color, but I will use this, so thank you. And they're, it's so expensive. Like even just natural glow, and I bet the Mary Kay one's probably even more expensive, so awesome and totally I'll use it. All right. This is something I never use much, but since you are trying Mary Kay, you may be able to give it some love. Thank you. I'm glad I haven't filmed my Mary Kay review video because I can try these things out and kind of add it to my list and growing collection of oh, Mary Kay. Ooh, yeah. What's funny is I remember these old, the old school versions of this that were like silver. Um, so it comes with a like little lip gloss in like the window, if you will, of it. And then let me see which side you open it on. These are really pretty. So it all comes together. Um, first of all, that blush is gorgeous. Are you kidding me? And I love those shadows. So this is great. I probably will get use out of this. So thank you, Renee. <laughs> oh man, my Mary Kay collection is getting out of control. This says, I got this in a Vox box and it just wasn't my color. Girl, I feel you. Ooh, it's a Rimmel one. Monk, I don't have this color. I can already tell you I don't have it. Luna, I have never owned this color and it's like a peachy one. Oh, I'll totally wear that. I might put it on right now. Ooh. I mean, it certainly is like orange, but like not in a more wearable way because, you know, orange lips are so in right now, but I'm like, no thanks. I don't think I'd wear it any other time but like summer and spring, but it's fun. What else? I'll wear it. You know, I like that stuff. All right. So this one says, I just can't get over all the decorations. I saw you love this brand and only had one, so here's another. Feels like a nail polish. I do like this brand, and I do only own one. Girl, you're good. You must watch every video of mine. It's Orly, and I have one, and it's in the shade Lollipop, and the formula is so good. This is like a really pretty, oh, this will be pretty in like the winter too. What is the shade name? Does it say Almond Love? I can't tell, but regardless, this is a really pretty color, so I probably really will wear that. It's like a silvery white. Holla! All right, this says, because I know you love these, and it's like a little threesome here. I'm assuming it's a lip prop. I do love these. These are lip butters. Ooh, what shade it? Lollipop, I don't. You know what is weird? I feel like Lollipop used to be a different color than this. Don't you guys, I feel like I used to own one called Lollipop, but it was a really light, like purplish white color. Like it was way too pale. So that is just bizarre. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I feel like it used to be a different one and now it's this, which is totally up my alley. Are you kidding me? I'll wear the heck out of that. This one is in the shade Candy Apple. That makes me think of Snow White. That makes me want to be Snow White for Halloween. That's that one there on the bottom. That's really pretty. Again, like a wearable red, you know? Renee was so sweet. I remember she like tweeted me or something. Yeah, I think I tweet with her a lot. I'm trying to think if it's Twitter or Instagram, but it is Twitter. Um, she and I have tweeted back and forth, but she was saying that she wanted to send me something, but she said, I know you're decluttering though, so I don't want to like, you know, she said, you can get rid of whatever you want. I thought that was sweet of her to think of, you know, that I'm in a declutter mindset. But at the same time, like I said, it's still fun getting new things. It doesn't mean I'm, I'm going to never buy stuff because the reality is this is one of my jobs and it's one of my hobbies. So of course I'm going to be trying new things out still forever. But yes, tutti frutti, tutti frutti, oh rude. Okay, bottom one. These are really pretty. And again, a more wearable orange, so I'm excited to give those a try, really. All right, this one, just a little guy. This is so much stuff. How long is this video? Sorry, guys, and I still have another package. Ooh, it's a Milani Shadow, which those are always good. It's in the shade Clover. It's a really pretty green. 
That's a really pretty green. And I really don't own that many colorful shadows, so this would be a good one to add to my collection. Cause, and green, in the realm of colorful shadows, I usually will opt for green. I don't know why, I just always have. Okay, oh, this one is a no. It says, because no one can rock a red lip like you can. That's so sweet, because I would disagree with you. And I'm sure we all do the same thing to ourselves. We're like, oh, I can't wear it. But then every once in a while, like, I'll wear it on a video, and you guys are so sweet about it. But still, in my head, I'm like, nah. But I still like to wear it, because you guys are always so sweet about it. Like, so that was thoughtful. Ooh, this is a Wet n Wild one in Purdy Persimmon. Ooh, these are really cool um, formula. That's it, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And then this is a Mary Kay one. It's in Sunny Citrus. Ooh, these are all orangey tones, but again, girl, you're keeping me in style because these are all so in right now. So, thanks, girl. All right, next one. I better wipe off these swatches before I get it all over myself. Whew, okay. Okay. Ooh, I've never tried these. This is the L'Oreal Le Gloss, another orange one, although I'm sure it's like more of a sheer, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's mostly sheer. You can't, you can kind of see. It does have a little peachy, so it might go well with the peachy. But I've actually never tried any of the Le Glosses, so awesome. Again, another thing I can actually get to try out. All right, so this one looks more like a... You wrap these well. You guys are always the ones that wrap things. It cracks me up because you guys are way better wrappers than I am. Ooh, this. I, you know what? I think I own this or used to own this. But it was one of those that I, I regretted getting rid of because I don't have another pink this shade. So it's kind of funny and awesome that you said it to me. I don't know if it was in this exact shade. It might have been. Forever Fuchsia. It's such a pretty pink. And I remember regretting. Oh, look at that. Uh, but I remember regretting it because I was like, I don't have another one this shade. I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. Thur, Jess. Ooh, this one had a real ribbon on it. Cute! This. Maybe nail polish? Yes. Mary Kay nail polish. Now, I will admit, I have a Mary Kay polish that was one of their limited edition ones, and it was not great. So I'll be interested to try this. This is totally a color I would love. I mean, I love light pink so much. My favorite color. All right, so this one, this is way too much stuff, Renee. NYC. Ooh, it's a lip gloss. I've never tried. That's not true. I have tried NYC lip gloss. I was gonna say I hadn't, but I've never tried this kind. It's the Big Bold NYC. This is awesome. I kind of love how giant it is. Whoa! Look how big this is! Okay, this is like comically large, but kind of like a, that's a classic NYC smell. This is a gorgeous color though. Oh, now I want to put it on. This is hilariously big, but that is such a pretty color. That might be the lip product I'm most excited about. Okay, next step. You know what, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna wipe it up. I was gonna wipe it off with tissue paper, but I think that's a bad idea. Come on, another nail, ooh, OPI. Come on now. Madonna. Ooh. Ooh. It's in Golden Rules. It's an OPI one, but it looks really like opaque for a gold, which is going to be nice because I feel like most gold polishes are kind of a little bit too transparent, so you need a million coats or you have to do whatever white, but this one looks, yeah, really opaque. So that is awesome. It's going to be pretty at the holidays. No, or in the fall, like with another orange polish or something. I'm getting really excited. Okay. Awesome. All right, so then, looks like this is a little lipstick. Ooh, I, this is a Nivea one. Which kind is it? It's the a taste or a kiss of milk and honey. I've never tried this one. Ooh, it literally smells like honey. Um, I have the mint and minerals, but I've never tried the milk and honey, and that's one I always kind of like have my eye on to try, so very excited to try that. This is, oh my gosh. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm like looking past and I'm really excited about something that's coming <laughs> Okay, this looks like maybe a shadow. It's a Rimmel one. It's in Black Cab and it's one of those, one of these, you know. This is awesome. And I really don't have many black and silvery ones. I usually opt for other colors. So again, this would be a nice addition to my collection. All right, so this says, my sister and I got these to try and 
It just didn't work for our skin, but we know you love this brand. Wow. I do love this brand. <gasps> ah, this is huge. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I travel all the time. <sighs> I'm really excited, can you tell? So these are Paula's Choice, which I love. Like, they don't make a single skincare product that is bad for your skin, because like, that is their whole thing. There are so many skincare companies that are like, good for skin and they're made by doctors, but they actually aren't. Like, they're filled with fragrance and they're filled with all kinds of ingredients that actually are harmful for most people's skin, not all. And that's where I learned about it on like, they have like a um, reviews where you can read about the other products and you can read about theirs too. But, oh my gosh, so this is a whole set and they're all travel size which is so awesome. Regular strength and this is extra strength and it's a two week trial kit. And it looks like there's exfoliating things. Um, I, I don't even, yeah, uh, sorry. Cleanser, daily skin clearing treatment. I, I'm so excited. I am so excited. You have no idea how excited I am. I love Paula's Choice. Okay, the last thing in this is, I can tell it's a coffee mug, I'm already excited. It says, because I know you will love this. And if you've caught me in any of my videos where I'm drinking out of coffee, it's usually out of an awesome mug. I love it! It has Minnie and Mickey. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I will cherish this forever. I totally am such a nerd weirdo about things like this. This is so, so awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Renee, thank you. Okay, and the, this is from Alicia Jimenez. It's huge! So I got this at the same time, so I figured, and everything's wrapped. I'm gonna try and show you inside. I don't know if it'll work. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. So I sent out, um, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I sent out a, like a message or, you know, whatever it was on the proper social media site. Um, just asking you guys if you have any like fifth or sixth grade chapter books or even like seventh or eighth really. Um, I'm teaching sixth grade and I'm starting for the first time this year. Um, so if you have any books you're wanting to get rid of, holla. Because y if you're a teacher, you know how it is. It is so expensive, oh my gosh, to build up a classroom library. And I've been doing it all along, but I figured I would be teaching like fourth grade and under. So almost all of the books I have, like 600 books are all way too young. Now some might work, you know, and I'll use some for read alouds, but I am in serious need of chapter books like stat. I'm like, oh my gosh. So if you have any of the classics that would be appropriate or any of the new ones like the Hunger Games trilogy, um, the series of unfortunate events, uh, the Divergent series, the Harry Potter series, I mean, any of that, I will take it off your hands gladly because oh my gosh, it is so expensive. Okay, sorry, that was the random. Okay, let's see if there's like a, well, if there's a letter in here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Says to, she's got a little note. You guys are so awesome. Says to save your place in a book. <laughs> Not a ton of bookmarks. Oh, oh, well, do you use them all together? Regardless, this is cute. They're all tied together and they're made, is it made of like duct tape? I think they're made of duct tape. These are so cute. There's all kinds of little like patterns. <laughs> I love it. All right. Oh. This is something long. I hope it's what I think it is. It just came to me clearly because I had that moment of realization. <laughs> it is! It totally is! <sighs> this is so awesome! Oh my gosh. But here's what makes me happy. This in my head is Mickey's hand, even though it's not, but it totally is in my head. In my head right here. So I will totally use it and pretend like it's Mickey, but this is awesome and so thoughtful. Okay, so I wish, I'm trying to like see, reach in and see if there's, oh, I might have found a letter. I might have opened it from the wrong side. Yes, I did. Yay! Did I get lipstick on me? Oh. All right. So sweet. You guys are the best subscribers. Whoa. Oh, okay. Let me read the note real quick. Right, quick. Yes. Hey, I said your name right. You should be proud. She was, that was adorable. She was giving me pronunciation, but that's so thoughtful because there's nothing worse than having your name pronounced wrong, period. And um, I actually took Spanish for a long time, so I speak a bit of Spanish. <laughs> hey, she says she lives in Louisiana. I have family in Louisiana. I have family in Louisiana, Mississippi, um, 
I mean, I've got it all over Florida, um, Ohio. I've got a ton of family in Ohio. Um, some in Colorado. I have some family in, um, where else? I, I can't think of where else. <laughs> she says she likes to read, write, and do a bunch of nerdy stuff. Girl, that is not nerdy. And you know what? The older you get, the more you realize that that's actually like totally awesome and makes you a better person. And it's way more, it makes you more of an interesting person. You have stuff, you have different experiences and you think and you can speak well and you can read well, you know. So that's one of those things as I've gotten older, I've realized, man, I wish I'd done it more when I was your age. So good for you that you already do. Alicia, I love it. So sweet. And you actually have very nice handwriting. So it looks like she's got pictures. What a cutie. <laughs> First of all, it's a Chuck E. Cheese, one of my favorite places in the universe. This is adorable. She, you are so cute. Girl, your makeup looks good too. My makeup looked crazy when I was your age, so you look good. Man, if only there was YouTube around when I was uh, going through middle school. <laughs> or, well, actually, you were about to go to high school soon, huh? Very exciting. Okay, so I am very excited. Minnie Mouse! Totally looks like Minnie Mouse. Oh. I'm assuming books. This is awesome. Things not seen, things that are. You know I'm gonna use these. I hope there's a lot of books in here because it feels like there are and that's gonna be awesome. This is cute wrapping paper. I wish I could save wrapping paper. I guess I could, but I mean, I already saved enough. I get crazy about it. Dark Life. Oh, ooh. Come on now. Come on now, hardback. This is so awesome. Even like I was going to like Goodwill, you know, for that like half off sale. Yes! Die Every Wimpy Kid. Two of them. Awesome. You know these will get used like crazy. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So sweet. This one says almost all the books are for your class, but there's one for you. That's really sweet. However, I'll probably read some of these young adult books too. Who am I kidding? Sasquatch, the report card, and Judy Bloom. Okay. So, continuing on, I literally filled my memory card. This video is so long. Also, I need to get a bigger memory card. <laughs> okay, so, moving on. She's got a birch box, and she said, uh, sorry, I don't have any other box, but I say kudos to you, because reusing is the best thing to do, and that's what I do, too. Um, ooh, it's taped up good, though. Girl. It's Versace Bright Crystal. You know what? Oh, that is adorable! But it comes with, okay, it comes with the perfume and then the bath and shower gel and the perfumed lotion, which, again, perfect for travel. And this is one of those, hold on, let me get it off without like spilling it everywhere. This is, now I want to put it on. This is one of those perfumes that I always smell, but I'm like, I have three perfumes and I try and keep it at that because I see people with big collections and I'm like, dang, like that would drive me crazy because I'd be worried about it going bad. And however, it is awesome to have like a million choices. Long story short, I'm really excited because this is one that I always smell and I love the way it smells. I think it just smells so grown up and modern and, but still really feminine. Um, anyway, so awesome. It's like you knew. <laughs> Okay, next thing. Whoa. A book for you, madam. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. It says the big butt book of crafts. I'm assuming it has a bad word. She cover. Okay, this is so adorable. This is something I would do. She covered it in um, tape and wrote, sorry it said a mean word. That's so thoughtful, who thinks of that? This is so awesome. And okay, I'm one of those nerdy people and I wonder if anyone else is this dumb. <laughs> Not dumb, just different. I like, instead of, if I have a book of recipes, I go to the book of recipes before I go to an app because I love the idea. It's just so, it's sad that it's old fashioned, but it totally is. 
um, to go to a book instead of like an app or to a website to find a recipe. I love to see if I can find it in the book and use a book recipe or like I have little recipe cards like and I write recipes on them still because I am old fashioned like that. Um, but it's the same thing like this, like I would rather look through here and find a way to use something than online first. So I'm nerdy like that, I will totally use this book. Like I will actually use it. <laughs> okay, this box is so like long. It's a very interesting shaped box. So it says, I live in Louisiana so I have to send you something that has to do with my state. I was recently in New Orleans by the way. Mardi Gras, she said. Oh my gosh, I see a feather. I want to go back to New Orleans so bad. We had so much freaking fun because we just were soaking up the history, of course. That's what we do. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Ooh, this is cute. It's like well made too. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Now I want to go as like something different for Halloween. Why am I thinking about Halloween already? Because it feels like fall outside, Jess, that's why. This is awesome and so thoughtful. Again, I love if you guys send me stuff to get stuff from where you live. I just think it's so freaking cool. That is gorgeous. That is so sweet. It makes me miss my family in Louisiana. This is adorable. This is one. It's a pen. Oh my gosh, it's a pen. I just realized. It is a pen. This is so cute. It's got a little bow on top. That's so cute. I will have that on my teacher desk. Okay, the last thing in, oh no, not last thing, no. Nope. Magnets! I will totally use these, and she's got little, um, like a leopard print on them. Ooh, and they're like actually strong too. Cause you know there is nothing more annoying, oh my gosh, than a magnet that's not strong enough so when you put a paper up it just slides. And then you have to put like 10 magnets on it, and you're like, why am I even using magnets? Forget it, I'll just use glue. <laughs> I will totally use these, and they made them really cute. Gosh, that was thoughtful. Okay, and then another birch box. I'm so sorry if something in here breaks. Also, this is random stuff. Okay, I hope it doesn't. We've got one broken thing down. Okay. I'm seeing, oh, hair wraps. Oh, actually, I will totally use these. Aren't those cute colors too? For the fall. Oh, I can't stop thinking about fall. Stop, stop, stop. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. globe and it's Mickey okay I it's hard to explain but my boyfriend and I on our way back from Michigan since I just live in Indiana you know we were heading down south back down south um even though it's not south what am I talking about anyway um and we stopped at this um giant Christmas store called Bronner's and if you've ever been there oh my gosh it was so fun I was like we got to come back every year it's like five hours away but I don't care um but, and I was looking at the snow, glo snow globes and I was like, I wanna buy one, but I didn't. I, I did end up getting a cute nightlight for Christmas time, but this is adorable and it's got Mickey. I can't even handle it. I can't even handle it. It's so cute. That was so thoughtful. All right, so nothing broke in there. We did it, Alicia. Awesome, thank you. Gosh, this is amazing. So I do have one other thing, a box. Because I remembered I opened this a while ago, well, like a week or two, whenever it was. It does, I don't know when it was. Um, but it was from my friend Chloe, who is also a subscriber on here, that another person I recognize her name all the time. And she sent me a card that is so sweet. She said she sent some of her favorite books from fifth and sixth grade. Oh, she's so sweet. So, thank you, Chloe. And she sent me a ton of books. She sent me also a Diary of the Wimpy Kid, which is, or I said it wrong, but you know what I mean, which is awesome because I know that's going to get you, all of these will. And a, um, this Island of the Blue Dolphins, by the way, was one of my favorite books in like, I want to say fifth grade. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, I completely forgot about that book. So that was a really cool thing. This is a Ready Freddy book. And then four Nancy Drew books. I was like, oh yeah, that's awesome. These are so classic. So that was so sweet of you, Chloe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you guys enough for everything, but especially for books and classroom stuff and makeup because I love it and I, it's one of my jobs. And just all of it is so sweet and thoughtful and I'm so freaking blessed. I mean, I'm constantly amazed at how lucky I am to have you guys just kind of there and you support me. And I hope that you feel that I support you because I do. Um, and I know that you guys feel like you know me, but know that I feel like I know you guys too. Even though it sounds weird and you know, it is what it is, but that's how I feel too. So when I'm talking to the camera, I feel like I know who I'm talking to. And it again sounds weird, but it's so true. And I get more and more comfortable as the past almost year and a half has gone by 
doing this, I've gotten more and more comfortable and every time I turn on the camera, I feel like happy and like, okay, like I feel like I'm talking to friends because I am. So I hope you feel that way too. Anyway, oh man, this video is long. If you stuck through it, you're crazy. But whatever, whatever. Anyway, I will catch you guys very soon. Bye.